Mabuhai! <laughs> I'm Mia. And I'm Olivia. And we are your Pageant Insiders. And we are brought to you today by PLDT Home Fiber, connecting world-class internet for world-class events. And this interview may have been the most special to me of all because I got to talk to my friend, my former roommate, and the absolute inspiration to not only the Philippines, but to the entire universe, universe <laughs> Pia Wurzbeck. Hello. Hello! We are backstage at Miss Universe Rehearsals and, and this lady needs no introduction. We all know who she is. Yeah, it's so good to see Hi. you! Oh my gosh, Hi. we're so excited. Of course. How are you feeling? Coronation is so soon. How are you feeling right now? I'm excited actually. Um, uh, leading up to the competition, I, I've had some, you know, some days where I'm like, I'm down and mm -hmm. I feel like I don't want to give it up just yet. <laughs> but then since I arrived here in Manila, because my friends and my family is here, yeah. it just makes it easier. And because this is my home, ta home country, th it yes. makes it uh, like, f it feels more like a celebration than me giving up the crown. How does it feel to have the entire Filipino community standing next to you as you have your final moments? Uh, it's great because I feel like, uh, don't they always talk about like how when you give up your crown that you'll feel it instantly? Like yeah. you feel mm -hmm. like, alright, what do I do next? Like, where do I go? Are my friends gonna be there? But I feel like I'm not gonna have to worry about that so much because I don't even have to look for them because I'm already at home. Yep. Great. Oh, at home, PLDT home. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. Speaking of home, this show is brought to you by PLDT Home, my connecting world-class internet for world-class events. Yes. <laughs> so. And what is more world-class than Miss Universe in the Philippines with the star Pia? Well, what advice do you have to give to the girls? I'm sure they're nervous. You yes. are like an amazing Miss Universe and they have really big shoes to fill. What advice do you give to the girls competing? Uh, my advice to them is uh, focus on rehearsals so that you don't, you know, miss your markers. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that the cameras catch you, so that the judges get a good look at you as yes. well. And then backstage, I, I like this batch of girls because, yeah. you know, unlike well, we, we got along when we were candidates, yeah, but <laughs> I felt like our our year was a bit more competitive. Yeah. But with this batch, even um, a day before coronation, they're still they're friends. They're friends, yeah. they're, and they're genuinely nice. friends. And I don't see them having like divisions or right. groups. Mm -hmm. So I really nice. like that. They're very chill. This batch. That's good. Yes. That's what you want it to be like. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And to the future Miss Universe. Oh yes. Do you have any advice? for her. Here's a really good piece of advice. Please, back up your phone. Back up your phone because you don't know how many times I've lost photos. Like, Life-changing, beautiful moments of yes. your life captured. Because, all just because my phone would crash and then I'd lose uh, everything. So please, back up your phone. She's giving real advice. This, this is real advice. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Wait, oh do God. you get to keep your crown? Oh, I don't, unfortunately. Oh. I have to pass it on the traditional way, passing on the okay. crown. But it's it's all, it's all good. I've had my, my time with the crown. I think it's about time yes. we, we make somebody else's dream come true. Because I'm thinking, you know, if Polina didn't have to give up hers, then I wouldn't have been Miss Universe. So I right. think it's time to have to pass it also on. pass it on. What about the Mickey Mouse crown? I saw that photo. Oh. Tell me, how did that happen? Tell us about that. I was, the, well, so they know exciting. how big of a fan of Miss Universe I am and that how much I've always want. Here we're going. They're getting back to rehearsals. Right. Dance break, dance break. What I want to know most of all, what's next for you? Um, I'm going to be busy right after, actually, so thank God. Yes. I don't want to have to like wonder, oh my God, what what's am I going to do next? So I'll stay here in the Philippines for about a month, and then after that, I'm flying back to USA! Yes. Woo! Oh. My message to all the fans that are watching tomorrow's coronation night, wow, I can't believe it's 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 really here, it's really happening. Maraming salamat sa support nyo. Thank you so much for all your support. Everyone out there, you know what, whether you're Filipino or not, thank you. Thank you for supporting the Miss Universe organization. Thank you for believing in um, our cause. Thank you for believing in the girls. And thank you for believing in me. Yes. <laughs> Maraming salamat. Yes. Okay. Thank you all for tuning in. Salamat po. Oh, yeah, we're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> 
was so great getting a chance to finally get to know Pia and talk to her. She's so wonderful. Yes, I've already missed her so much, and it was nice to get a little catch up as she finishes her reign. Yes, oh my gosh. We love you, Pia. <laughs> we love you. Thank you all so much for tuning in to Nia and I as we gave you the inside scoop to yes. pageants. We've had so much fun being your pageant insider. So thank you so much, PLDT Home. We have had a wonderful time. Thank you, Manila. Thank you, Philippines. This oh has been gosh. amazing. Yes, we are so grateful. We hope to come back because we have absolutely loved meeting all of our Filipino fans and talking to each of you. We feel the love. So thank you, thank you. Yes, and we'll see you soon. Yes.